The act of blame is, in itself, an act of self-deception. Blame creates false empowerment, so we don't have to address how much shame we feel for the part we played. Instead of healing the disempowerment from our shame, we make ourselves falsely empowered and the right one, the nicer one, the healthier one, etc. Instead of creating false power, the solution is to empower yourself by owning your part, owning your perfect imperfections, and being okay with the fact that you are human and you are limited that you'll sometimes put yourself in the position to be hurt. Again, this doesn't make you bad. This is part of being human, and it's okay. Give yourself a break from the need to be so perfect. You'll know you are out of deception and have forgiven yourself and the other person when you can tell the story of your breakup in one sentence that holds both of you equally accountable. If you're still telling the story of your breakup with a big long story and you can't boil it down to one sentence that holds both of you equally accountable, you are not in truth, you have not taken responsibility, you are in self-deception and you are detached from your authentic self. For instance, I describe my first marriage this way, quote, We did the best we could with where we were at the time. And my second marriage, I described this way. We both stopped doing what brought us together. Okay. Okay. So the 10 signs you're playing the victim are using blame to hide your self-deception. Number one, you talk only about the problem, person, or situation and how you were mistreated and you're not putting a plan in place that focuses strictly on yourself and what you can control. Number two, you justify with phrases like, I had to do it because, or it's not my fault because, or, and if they hadn't done this to me, I wouldn't have done. Those. That's number two. Number three is you try to change the other person, believing or saying if they did something different, the problem would be solved. Number four, you feel disempowered or falsely empowered and you make yourself or the other person the horrible one instead of being two perfectly imperfect people. Number five, you repeatedly feel hopeless, powerless, or constantly angry. Number six, you compile evidence building your case by keeping a running list of all the other person's wrongdoings to avoid admitting your own wrongdoings. Number seven, you see these situations repeating themselves. Number eight, you deny that you also played a part. Number nine, you minimize your part. And number 10, you try to make yourself right and the other person wrong. The act of blame is, in itself, an act of self-deception. Blame creates false empowerment, so we don't have to address how much shame we feel for the part we played. Instead of healing the disempowerment from our shame, we make ourselves falsely empowered and the right one, the nicer one, the healthier one, etc., Instead of creating false power, the solution is to empower yourself by owning your part, owning your perfect imperfections, and being okay with the fact that you are human and you are limited, that you'll sometimes put yourself in the position to be hurt. Again, this doesn't make you bad. This is part of being human, and it's okay. Give yourself a break from the need to be so perfect. So I'm gonna read the next section. It says, look for how you play the hero. When we tell the story of a breakup fight with a friend or how much our boss is mean and makes unrealistic demands, we leave out, embellish, 
downplay, obscure, or alter some small pieces of the story to make ourselves look better. For instance, when I first split from my first wife and began dating, when asked what happened, I took some ownership of the part I played. But most of the story was all about what she did to me, the abuse and everything else. In other words, I was the martyred hero of my own story. You'll know you are out of deception and have forgiven yourself and the other person when you can tell the story of your breakup in one sentence that holds both of you equally accountable. If you're still telling the story of your breakup with a big, long story and you can't boil it down to one sentence that holds both of you equally accountable, you are not in truth, you have not taken responsibility, you are in self-deception, and you are detached from your authentic self. For instance, I describe my first marriage this way, quote, we did the best we could with where we were at the time. And my second marriage, I described this way. We both stopped doing what brought us together. Okay? So there's an example of how we know we're detached from our authentic self. Those 10 signs that were in self-deception. And then the fact that we play the hero when we tell the story of what happened. We want to tell all about all the things they did to us. And that means we're still stuck protecting our unhealed childhood trauma the part we played and how we were responsible. We haven't used the authentic self cycle of truth, responsibility, healing, and forgiveness to recognize, wait a minute, no matter what, the only reason this person got near me is because I said yes to them. I'm responsible for that. I need to get into truth. Why was I attracted to that toxicity? That's about me. I need to go figure that out. I need to take responsibility and do the healing work to figure out how my childhood created an attraction to such a toxic, destructive person. When we go off and do that, and we do that by gaining emotional authenticity and doing the emotional authenticity process, then we can break it down to a simple sentence that holds both of us equally accountable and responsible. Doesn't make either, we don't go falsely empowered and make ourselves better as though they were the worst one, or we don't go disempowered and take on all the blame ourselves and make them the glorified hero. It's, it, it, it shows that we have, we give it a, a, a one sentence response that shows both of us are perfectly imperfect, that we both have inherent value and worth, and we did the best we could. All right. So now this, this is something I haven't talked about in any of my videos ever. 